Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ran, and I just watched Housewife. I believe it was streaming on Amazon Prime. This, uh, I'm just gonna say it now. This was a really strange movie, which I'm, like, 100% on board for. The movie seems like it has two different plots which kind of intertwine with each other. It opens with our main character witnessing a really grisly death of her sister after her mom realizes she hit that moment where she's a woman and drowns her in a toilet, which this poor girl watches the entire thing and flees the house. We then find her years later, where she's obviously still suffering from this trauma to the point where she won't even use a toilet. She kind of pees in bathtubs and sinks, which is super gross, but I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. She is married to a man who wrote a book about her story, which seems kind of Stockholm-y. Maybe that's not the word for it, but it's weird. It's super weird, but I could see bonding with your subject over such a traumatic thing. This woman has a friend who has been following a family around, which is most obviously a cult, and she disappeared for two years and wants her friend and her husband to join her for this kind of, it's not, it kind of seemed like a concert or some sort of production thing, which is really strange for a culty kind of family, but she wanted them to meet their leader, who picks said traumatic history woman out of the crowd and does sort of a mind meld with her, which this is the beginning of the really strange part of this movie strange parts, I should say, where it's kind of, she can't tell if she's in a dreamlike state still in this auditorium or if these things are actually happening. What's real, what's not real, what's suggested, and what is actual truth? I'm going to leave it there because I don't know how else to describe it without really giving things away. What did I like about this movie? I liked that it messed with your brain a whole lot. I liked that it was visually disturbing because it definitely is especially with the subject matter they're dealing with and i felt like that part of it was nice it was shot beautifully now to my dislikes uh the lead actress i didn't find super convincing she just seemed sort of off and not quite a hundred percent into the role and really able to portray what she needed to portray there's a scene of live childbirth, which is terrifying, especially as a woman watching it, because I, ugh, my god, that's horrible. There is also unfortunate instances of people getting just stabbed in the eye with one of those umbrellas with the really long metal thing, and if you're not, you know, new to the channel, then you would know my eye trauma history. But if you are new, I have a lot of eye problems and I don't need to be having nightmares about umbrellas. Yeah. So, I mean, I would rate this probably like a two out of five. I did enjoy aspects of it. I did like how trippy the end was and how trippy the dream sequences are, but it really was a struggle to hold my attention. There's just, I don't know. I know it was supposed to be, you know, you can't tell if it's a dreamlike state or if it's actually happening or if it's a flashback, but it just got to be a little monotonous for me, at least to where I was having issues with my short attention span, which maybe that's my problem. But as I said, I did find this streaming on Amazon prime video. If you want to check it out, have you seen this movie? What did you think? Are you scared of umbrellas as well now? and childbirth. Uh, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. You can also like the video. If you did like the video, leave a comment. As I said, hit the bell for all notifications of my further uploads and live streams. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. Also, we have our own channel on iTunes now, and we are on the Farsighted. Please also check all the creators out there. And I guess that's it. And, um, yeah, watch those umbrellas, guys.